Hey there, this is Allie Dosdell with the We Are Memory Keepers design team. And in this video, I wanted to share with you some of the beautiful new embossing folders. Um, and each group comes with two. There's two in a set. This is the butterfly set. You can see the beautiful butterfly pattern back there. And this is kind of a, a medallion pattern. Um, and a lot of the folders have a grid on the front so you can line your project up to get those images exactly where you want them. Here's the stripe set, really fun. Polka set, there's a small and a large polka. And here's a pretty script set. That's really trendy right now. So I just wanted to show you a few ideas to take simple, easy projects and just make them look beautiful in seconds. Um, so what I've got is one of these um, little pockets, the craft pockets from the Albums Made Easy sets. And I'm just gonna take this and put it into the large polka folder. Okay, the pocket's cute by itself, right? I love to use these little pockets in my projects, but let's see what happens when we run this through the evolution in the polka embossing die, or I'm sorry, embossing folder. Okay, let's see what happens. All right. Okay, how fun is that? That just kind of takes that little simple project pocket to the next level. Then you can slide in your journaling card or a photo or memorabilia and you can decorate it a little more if you want or just leave it like that. That would be really cute for a gift card or you know a picture, like a little picture gift. So isn't that fun? Okay, let's try something else. We're gonna take this simple glassine bag. These are really popular right now as well. And we're gonna try a different folder. I'm gonna try something a little more elegant. Okay, this is, if you can see, this is the medallion um, embossing folder. Okay. And I'm gonna put this in like right there, I think. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. I'm gonna run this through my evolution super fast. And we'll see what happens. Sorry for knocking the tripod. <laughs> oh my goodness, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? You could do anything with that. That's really elegant. That'd be nice for a wedding for favors or, you know, for Mother's Day or Easter or anything like that. Okay, so there's that. Now, next, I took my uh, envelope punch board and I just made a simple white cardstock three by four envelope, which is cute, right? You could totally use that for a little gift card or tag or something, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the small script folder, okay, if you can see that image there, probably better if I move that out of the way there. Now you can really see that, okay? Really cute little script font. And I'm gonna open this up and, and lay it down on its stomach, okay? Or on its front, I guess you could say. Okay, and I'm gonna make sure that the script is facing this way. Okay, so when I fold it down, it'll be facing the right direction. So I'm just gonna like pump up this envelope a little bit, take it to the next level, slide this into my evolution. And you can do all this with the evolution advanced. I just have not been lucky enough to get my hands on one yet, but this all works in your evolution advanced. Okay. Take a look at that. How cool is that? That just really makes this envelope a whole nother ball game, doesn't it? And then you can even do this if you take a um, colored piece of cardstock. Our cardstock has white core, of course, so you can sand it. Hopefully you can see that and you can um, just kind of emphasize that raised embossed image even more with a little bit of sanding on the colored cardstock. One more project. This one's going to take a little bit more time, but it's still real quick and easy and simple, but it makes a great gift. I'm going to make a bookmark. Okay, I'm going to use the large script embossing folder. And this is a seven and a half by two and a quarter piece of white textured cardstock. Okay, so then I'm going to again run it through my evolution. Now you notice there's a little bit sticking out of the top there. That's what I want because I'm gonna do something different with that top. Let's 
So, and these embossing folders, if I didn't mention before, are six by six, which is fabulous for card making or any other projects. Okay. So let's see how this came out. Very cool. Okay, right there, that could be a bookmark. Even if we just did a six inch bookmark, that would be a fabulous bookmark. But we're gonna dress it up just a little bit. To dress up this embossed bookmark, I started by adding a little piece of pattern paper up at the top where I had left it not embossed, I would left it um, flat. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my scallop and cloud corner chomper and I'm gonna use the scallop side of it and punch the top corners. Okay, and that adds a nice touch to the corners there. Then I'm gonna take my crocodile big bite Okay, and I'm going to punch a hole about in the center at the top, maybe a quarter to a half inch down from the bottom. Okay, and then I'm going to add a pink eyelet. Switch this up. Whoops, sometimes I get stuck. Okay. Okay, now we're starting to get there. Okay, so now I've got about mm, 10 or 12 inch length of the pink baker's twine from the So Easy collection. And I'm going to double it and then feed that end through and then pull the two strands so I've got a top like that. Now that's longer than I want. I, I like to try to do it a little longer just to make sure I have enough. I think I'm going to go right about there. Okay. And there's the tassels for your bookmark. Okay, so the last step here that's the coolest part, I think, is we're gonna take some lovely raspberry ink here and we're going to ink the embossed design very carefully and very gently. Now you see how that embossed raised design is really coming through now. And you can do this with any color ink or distress ink. See how pretty that is? And this really goes well with the Inked Rose collection, of course, since there's a lot of inking and such on that. Okay, one last finishing touch I added after I inked was just a little bit of this new washi tape and it comes in the multi-pack as a little border right across the top and that just kind of finishes it off. I love these new embossing folders because they let you make beautiful projects in minutes.